Hello everyone, I am Robert Trini and today we're gonna make Slendrina. Let's make Meet my daughter Slendrina! Slendrina, come here! Okay guys, so let's do this Slendrina. A lot of you commented on my granny video to make Slendrina. At first I didn't want to do this because I knew that she will come and she will be interrupting me. But a lot of you ask for this and I love my subscribers. <laughs> So let's get started. As you see, I prepared the base and I attached the aluminium to it using glue. In the video where I made granny, I didn't want to waste so much clay to fill the inside of the granny dress, so I used waste clay, but in this case I will show you how to make an inside filling using aluminium foil. So first of all, I add some of the clay on the base and some liquid clay. This will help bond the aluminum foil to the wood base. Then I just wrap my armature with the aluminum foil like crazy until I got a shape like Slendrina dress. And then at the very top of this I tangled some wires and those will be the arms of Slendrina. I always make it a little longer than it should be. I will tell you why I do this later when I will be making hands. Now you see that I'm making the color for the dress for this figure I used two packs of white clay and some of the grey and black to make a large portion of grey clay. After it's done I made a very thin sheet of clay using my pasta machine. I think I do it on level 6 or 7, something like that. With this sheet I will cover the aluminium foil. This is just one layer, it's not a final layer. I do it only because before I will be working on a dress and on other elements of Slendrina I want it to be stable so as you see I again add some glue at the top to make sure it will stick very well to the wood base. And after it's done I just curved it a little bit to make a hunched posture. But can you do this? And it's going to the oven for 25 minutes. Uh, what do you want? Oh my god guys, do you have any ideas how I can get rid of those two? Let me know in the comments and in the next video I will try something. But back to our ugly, disgusting and creepy Slendrina, you see that I just make a big shit of clay. This is level 1 and by saying level 1 I mean I made this shit using pasta machine that was set for level 1 of thickness. So I'm covering the baked Slenderina body with this shit. <laughs> okay, that was the last time. Um, yeah, I cover it and then I just smoothing the surface very hard. And while I'm doing this, I will answer some question from the comment section. We got question from Josephine. She wrote, how do you speak LOL? <laughs> well, Many of you might know I'm not from US and from any of the English speaking countries, so English is not my first language, so I made a huge amount of mistakes, but maybe someday I will get better, maybe, I hope. And also I saw comments saying, where are you from? So I told it before in the videos, but as we got few new subscribers, it's time to answer this question again. I'm from Poland. Poland is country in the Central Europe. Some of you also wrote, say something in Polish. So, okay, are you ready for this? I'm starting. If you like my movies, please subscribe and hit the bell icon very much. And this means, if you like my videos, subscribe and smack the bell very hard. So yeah, if you already liked the video, thank you for doing this, thank you for your support, for liking, subscribing and watching the whole video. 
and let's move on when i was answering the comments i already make the head so for the head i use quite different color it's like gray green something like that and i shape the head and i'm using the reference photos from i think it's the latest slendrina game slendrina the seller the job of slendrina is so widely open on this one and i really like that it reminds me of this character from the movie type scary movie but let's move on we made the collar and now i'm creating the nose using my favorite sculpting tool the hook and I'm adding some more clay to the head area using my second favorite tool, it's called Shaper. It has two rubber ends and it's really good for making shapes in the clay or just smoothing the surface like you see now. I also use the middle of this tool to smooth or flat the surface even more and after all it's done it's time for a jaw. So I make very thin sheet of clay, it was made on maximum level, level 9 of the pasta machine, you can always flat the clay using hands or roll but I just prefer using pasta machine for that. So as you see I placed some of the black clay to the jaw area and it not look so good so I removed it and I just carved a hole in the slendling amount a little bit to create better and more realistic effect. After I managed to do that I placed some of the black clay to the nose holes and at the beginning I thought that I will paint the face after the baking with acrylic paints but I managed to make her face looking good using only clay. And as you see now I'm making hair of our Slenderina so as you see at first I place it on her head a large shears of clay and at the top of this single rolls of clay that will be imitating the hair. Then I just smooth it a little bit with clay shaper and my hook and the hair is ready guys. Time for the eyes! For the eyes I use red clay, in the left part of my table I store open clay and all other colors that I made in previous videos and I pick one of those red colors. So having this stock of colors can be really helpful because I don't have to create every single color from the beginning. So our eyes are done and I grab one of my tools to flatten the surface of the Slenderina dress. Guys, this Slendrina is crazy. I seriously need some Ghostbuster or Exorcist here. But let's move on. Now I'm making the arms of Slendrina. So I saved some color from the dress. It's really important to save some clay for the other parts that will be created in the same color. Because if you use all clay, you have to make it again and make it in the same color. And it's quite impossible to make exactly the same color twice. I had this situation before and it was not very nice. But arms. My technique for that is to make a piece of rolled clay and then cut it in half and make a cut inside the clay for armature. And then I'm just connecting those with the body. Arms are straight and it helps to form the clay on them. After I got the shape that I want, I bend the arms in the spot where elbow should be. I form the elbow a little bit and then I cut the clay where the hands should be. And now I can say why I left so much of aluminium wire. I do it always because I never know exactly how long the arms would be and I prefer to cut it at the end. So after I cut it there is time to form the hands. It's very simple. Our hands contains of six elements. One is base and other elements are fingers. Yes? <laughs> Hi Lord Zinek, it's me Boris. Oh. Uh, have you yet mentioned the Lashy Plashy? Okay, I will do that. Thank you! Okay guys, Boris urged me to mention my second channel, Lashy Plashy. If you already are subscribed to Lashy Plashy, good job! 
If you not, let me explain what types of videos I do there. On the Lashi Plashi I made comedy videos using my creation that I created on this channel. So if you want to see Slendrina in action, make sure to subscribe to my second channel. Links are in the cards or in the end screens or in the description. In the previous videos on Lashi Plashi you can saw Granny and Monster Baldi and now it's time for Slendrina. What she will do there? I have no idea for now, you will see soon if you subscribe Lashi Plush. When I was talking about my second channel, we made fingers of Slendrina, we used black clay to dirt her a little bit and now I smooth the surface to get rid of fingerprints and things like that. You make me because you love me? No. Guys, uh, help? Okay, let's go, go. I placed the Slendrina on the baking tray and now I add some clay to the base to finish her dress. In the granny video, I used dirt from my fan, but I figured out that better effect would be if I just use dark clay. So after I smudge it on all her body, it's finally time to bake it. While it's baking, I always have some time, so I clean my desk and now it's good time to tell you a little bit how I store my unused clay. So it's very simple, I just wrap it in plastic foil few times and that's it. I take Slenderina out of the oven and I also wait another like 13 minutes to cool down and then I unconnect it from the baking tray using force. <laughs> and now I'm just cutting the sharp edges in the bottom of our figure and the next step it's painting. I always shake paint bottles before use, shake it baby and then I mix some of the black with some of the red and the blood came out of this. I add a little bit of paint on her fingers and the last tip guys, it's satin varnish for the eyes. Who's there? That's it. What? I have a baby with you. No, it's just a pillow. Uh, have you finished? Yes. Show me. Very nice, Lerzenek. Grandi, come see this. This is your video, you have to end it! Okay Granny, uh, leave a like if you enjoy my husband Lord Zirik's video and check out his other videos or maybe check out his other channel Lassie Blasi. Everyone, don't move, let's pretend we are dead. Uh, uh, okay. Granny! Sorry.